Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee! The last time, we made our way into the Elite Four battles and we defeated both Lorelei and Bruno, and this time we're gonna move on. I've healed up my Pokemon, so we are fresh to battle again. Our next opponent is Agatha, a Ghost-type user. Uh, let's see, what do we have against that? Well, we do have Snorlax and uh, Eevee, who will be immune to any Ghost-type moves. Uh, I keep messing up my controls here. Uh, but Snorlax doesn't really have anything to go against it other than Lick. Sparkly Swirl, Double Kick Bites. You know what? Why not just start off with Eevee? And we'll take it from the top. Alright. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's a fool. Pokemon are for battling. Friendly, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. I guess I thought she was gonna whack me on top of the head, like, oof. Alright, let's go, Agatha. Arbok, a poison type. Very ghosty. Alright, let's go, Eevee. Um, let's see, I think. How about we start off with a double edge? That does decent damage, but we're also pretty hurt with that. Oh gosh! And poisoned! Oh boy. Yeah, that is... Whew! Yeah, the level difference is really starting to show. Not to mention that... Some of these things are just creepily strong. Alright, Eevee is back up to fighting strength. And we're poisoned yet again. Great. Okay, Eevee, let's go for double edge against Arbok. Hope that we take it out now. We'll take the damage. Yikes, man, that was a rough first match. Oh, it expelled the poison. Nice. About to send out Gengar. Uh, let's keep battling for now. I forgot the effectiveness of this fairy type move against Gengar. We'll see. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, Eevee toughs it out. Good job. And we're poisoned. Yeah, that doesn't do a lot. We are cured of poisoning though, so that's good. Okay, we're not going to outspeed, so we're just gonna take the hit so we can freely switch out. I'm sorry, Eevee. Come on back, buddy. Right. This may get a little tough. How about we go for Golem? The poison won't be as effective, and we can just focus on Thunder Punch. Let's show them how it's done, Alolan Golem. I think we'll go for a Thunder Punch. Will-O-Wisp, burn! That effectively halves our attack. Well, at the very least, we managed to uh, paralyze Gengar, so that's a thing. I wonder if... 75, also 75. I think I'll go for the more accurate 75, thank you. Yeah, and it's paralyzed, nice. We may be at half our normal strength, but with Gengar being paralyzed, this is going in the right direction. Oh yeah, and a critical hit. Very nicely done, Golem. Very nicely done. What's your next Pokemon, Agatha? A Golbat? Well, I mean... That's just a perfect matchup for me. Unless this thing's gonna come with some strange move. Let's go for a Thunder Punch. Crunch, alright. Man, if only we weren't burned. I can heal with a full restore, but I'm not low enough HP to really go for it. So I think I'm gonna take one more hit and then take down Golbat with my Thunder Punch and then heal up at the next Pokemon. That way I'm getting the most use out of my full restore that I can. Alright, we got experience. Weezing, huh? You know, that's a lot of non-ghost type Pokemon. 
All right. I, I don't suspect Weezing to be doing a whole lot of damage. So I feel very comfortable with using my full restore at this moment in time. There we go. Shadow Ball. Okay. At least it has a ghost type move, so that's something. Maybe we can paralyze it with a Thunder Punch. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I think I'll just keep going with Thunder Punch. Weezing might be physically very defensive, but if I can get a chance to get off a paralyzation, then I'm taking that chance. Wow, we are tied for speed, huh? 3 HP. You know, Golem is doing well. I don't want to rob him of his moment. We're just using one of those max potions we bought with our hard-earned money and finishing this Weezing. Uh, fight and Thunder Punch. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, finally our special defense fell. I was already wondering, like, oh, doesn't Shadow Ball have a secondary effect? But I guess we were just lucky that it didn't proc. We got the experience. And the final Gengar. I think I'll just keep battling, do as much damage as I can with Golem. If I can do any, because if Gengar uses Shadow Ball, I think I might be done for. We'll see. Yeah, that's that. Okay, um, how about we go for a Snorlax? It'll do the least damage, but it can also take the most hits because Shadow Ball won't affect it. I'll just give it a couple of licks. See where we go from there. Sludge Bomb, huh? Wow, that lick did more damage than I would have imagined. Oh, we are poisoned, though. Yeah, okay, we'll take this hit and then switch over to the next Pokemon. These battles are getting a little rough. Don't worry, Snorlax. It's all good. We still have three very hard hitters left. I think I'll go for Gyarados. Gyarados is nice and speedy, too. It won't outspeed Gengar, but I don't think it'll get downed by one hit either. So we're going... We're, we can go for Crunch. Yeah, that'll be super effective. Done so, yeah. Goodbye, Gengar. Being so good at level 50, very nice. Oh my, you're something special, child. Thank you, Agatha. That's very nice of you. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Oh, she, uh... She has a very creepy grin there. Let's heal up and meet the next trainer. Alright, there he is. Lance, an obvious dragon-type trainer. Let's go say hi. Oh, so you're friendly. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the dragon trainer. You likely know that dragons are Pokemon spoken of in legends. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your Pokemon League challenge ends with me, friendly. Alright, bring it on, Lance. Let's see what you got. I like his model in this game. He looks so young and friendly. But I'm friendly. A Seedra. I think that's still a full water type. Alright, let's go for Sparkly's Whirl. Ouch! You know, I was actually hoping to save Eevee for the actual dragons because of Sparkly Squirrel, so I think I'll switch over to Venusaur. Take the Hydro Pump, which it's most likely going to do. And then just Mega Drain. Yeah, there you go. Still, that it's 44 HP of damage, which is pretty intense. We took it down, though, and we took all that HP back. <laughs> okay, we got experience. What's your next move, Lance? Aerodactyl. A flying and rock type. Not a dragon. Okay, I think I'll stick with Venusaur. Just uh, mega drain it up. Could have also gone for 
my golem. But I'm happy with what I have. Unless it's that flinch. In which case, I'm not happy. Nice, and avoid. Oof. That didn't do that much damage at all. No worries, though. I think if we keep using Mega Drain and don't get flinched by Rock Slide, we should be fine. Uh, how powerful is it? 75, Petal Dance, 120. Let's go for Petal Dance. It might be enough to take him down now. Unless we flinch. Well, thank you. Man, that Rock Slide. That Rock Slide, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's switch over to Gyarados. A waterfall from Gyarados will make that Aerodactyl sing a tone lower? That's a direct translation from a Dutching. I don't think that's gonna make sense, but hey. Wow, Aerodactyl was faster than Gyarados. Well, it is level 54, so... That's something that can be imagined. Luckily, we managed to evade the Rock Slide, though. Next up is their Gyarados. I think we'll keep battling. <laughs> right, the Gyarados is a little bit stronger. Uh, it's a rough call. I think... Crunch? Wow, they used Waterfall. There, a defense fell. I think I'm gonna stay with Crush, hope for a couple of defense falls. Yeah, because that doesn't do too much damage. And if it doesn't do much damage from him, I'm not going to do much better either. So I'll take one more hit, heal up, and then we should be fine. Unless he misses again. No, he didn't. Okay. Done and done. Goodbye, other Gyarados. Let's see. Charizard. I sh... I... It's not a dragon type, my guy. Like, all of his Pokemon could technically be like, yeah, this is kind of dragon-y. But it's just like, it's just not it. We're gonna heal up and then use Waterfall as soon as we can. Zoop, there we go. Hyper Beam. Well, that did not a lot of damage and it's gonna have to recharge, so we'll make use of this opportunity right away. Whew. Man, even six levels lower. Gyarados managed to almost take down entire Charizards. Nice avoid. We're getting very lucky with that. Alright, that Charizard is gone. And we leveled up from it. I mean, how could we not? EV Root level 50, very nice. And finally, here comes the Dragonite. Alright, here's my plan. I'm gonna use Outrage, do as much damage as I can. I'm assuming Gyarados is gonna go down, then we'll use Eevee to finish him off, if we need to. We may not need to. They also use Outrage, and we- wow! These shouts, and there's no way to turn this off by the way. Like, whenever the hearts pop up, it's basically me being friendly. The same thing again here. It's like the love mechanic kicking in, and it kicked in so many times where it avoided or just uh, took down my, my poisoning. That's just another show as to how easy this game can be, even when you're like six levels lower. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a first-class Pokemon trainer. Thank you, Lance. <laughs> Dear condescending clapping. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you. Friendly? You are now the Pokemon League Champion! Ah, nice. Or you would have been. But you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. That trainer is... <gasps> Professor Oak. Hello there, friendly! Congratulations on your victory over Lance! Hmm? What's with that look of surprise? <laughs> your timing is perfect, Professor. Friendly, the one you will face is... Professor Oak! Well, not really. It's Trace! He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the Pokemon League Champion. That's right! In the past, trainers who defeated the Elite Four were only recorded as champions. 
This time, however, we'll be officially establishing the champion as a part of the Pokemon League. Professor Oak is here to officiate the crowning of the new champion. It seemed only fitting that it should be either you or Trace. You're the two who do take care of Team Rocket after all. Now then, head onward to the stage of the final battle. Alright, looks like when Trace asked us if he could go first, he actually made it to the very end. And now we're going to have to face off against him. So, let's heal up, get ready for this final battle, and see if we can actually beat this game. I'm actually pretty hopeful about it. We got some revives left, we only have one Pokemon to restore because Gyarados toughed it out of the end there. Yeah, let's just give everyone the max potion. And let's go for it. Who should we put first, though? Ah, it's so tough. I'm not sure what he's going to use. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go for the one that has the most problems. Golem doesn't really have much he can go up against. So I'm just going to go with him So to get it out of the way, quote-unquote. There he is. It's Trace. Let's go, Eevee. You did it, friendly! Oh man, that's great. I've been waiting. I beat the Elite Four and became a champion. You probably heard from the Professor, right? From now on, the champion will be a part of the Pokemon League and battle all kinds of trainers. I'm really glad my first opponent turned out to be you, friendly. You're the one trainer I want to test my best against after all. Let's battle, friendly. The champion's seat is on the line. Alright, our final battle against Trace, as he is the champion of the Kanto region. With a full team of six this time, he sent out Pidgeot. I think it's a good thing we started off with Golem in that case. Alright, Golem, let's go for it. 56, we can handle it, hopefully. We'll start off with Thunder Punch. Uh-oh. Mega Pidgeot. Look at that, so cool. Heat Wave? That is not something I expected. Okay, well, we're not gonna go sit around and take it though. With Vrew? Uh oh. This might be very bad for us. Yeah. Okay, well, if you're gonna withdraw Pokemon, then I'm gonna withdraw Pokemon too. Let's go, Charizard! We'll switch out too, because it's most likely going to go for a grass side move, and we are like double resistant to it, so... Oh, it's absorbing light, so boy, this might be bad. I'm gonna Mega Evolve too and go for Flamethrower. Let's go, Mega Charizard, why? Oh, oh, so close! Ah, uh, we didn't take a lot of damage from the Solar Beam, but still... It kinda sucked. For Restore! Ah, oh, no, he uses items! Well, if he if he keeps using them on Vileplume, we can easily dismiss, then... I'd say go for it. Use up all your items, but... It seems he wisened up at the last moment there. Realizing that using four Restores on your Vileplume might not be the best use of it right now. Raichu! Okay, well, I think I'll go back to Golem in that case. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be resistant to it. And I'll just use Rock Slide myself, so I'm all good. Yeah, we're gonna have to be smart in this battle. 57, yeesh. Alright, Rock Slide. Yeah, that Thunder doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but we're doing a lot more. We'll take another Thunder if it even hits us. Oh, it sure did. Ooh, that was close. Five HP remaining. That didn't even need a shout. All right, we got that experience. Marowak. You know, I'm just going to switch to Venusaur. That's going to be the best move here. It's a ground type, and we got grass on our side. 
All right, Venusaur. You may not be able to Mega Evolve right now, but I think you'll be fine against Marowak. Um, I'm just not gonna leave it up to chance. Pell Dance. Ooh. Man. And Fire Punch! Okay, that's not something I saw coming. Man, this game has a lot of, like, nasty moves coming out of left field. Super effective, yeah. We're not confused, so we're just gonna keep on going. There we go, that's three of the Pokémon down already. Marowak fainted. And now it's up to the next Pokémon. Charizard level 51 will take that. Rapidash. Uh, I, I got a Mon for that. Yeah, I got a Mon. We got Gyarados on our side for that one. So far, we seem to be fairly well equipped against Trace's Pokémon. Alright, Rapidash. Sorry, but you're gonna go down in possibly two hits. Let's see what you got. Flare Blitz. Ooh, they damaged themselves. Not enough, though. We can take another hit. He might heal, though. No, he didn't. Okay. We take those. We take those. And they outdid themselves. All right. Yeah, it does nothing to Waterfall anymore. Slowbro. Huh. Well, we saw what happens to Venusaur when we, when we go up against Slowbro. I think we're going to stick with Gyarados. We're going to see if Crunch deals enough damage and then possibly switch to Snorlax once Gyarados goes down. Crunch it up. Yeah, because Slowbro has that Psychic that would totally decimate Venusaur. Luckily, we managed to stay away from KOing for one more turn. Thanks to that shouting mechanic. Ooh, I didn't think he I didn't think he could take it. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, yeah, crunch it up. Take him down all the way. Man, Gyarados is really pulling through. I, I, I keep saying it. Gyarados is a solid Pokemon to have on your team. Pidgeot. Oh right, he withdrew that one. I forgot he did that. You know what? I'm just gonna Wait, that's his last Pokemon too? Did we already beat this? Oh my gosh, I didn't feel like there was six. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna wait here. Uh, yeah, I guess Waterfall. I'm not gonna go first anyway. Yeah. Because I wanna finish with a certain Pokemon. Snorlax. I mean, we gotta. All right, Snorlax. It's time. Finish. This. Battle. Okay. I admit defeat. Friendly, you're the strongest trainer in the world. Oh man, my reign is over already? That was pretty short. You're the champion now, friendly. And as for me, I've got a new goal to work towards. Friendly! So, you've done it at last. You've defeated the Pokémon League. My sincerest congratulations. You've grown a great deal since you first caught Eevee and set out with that Pokédex. Yes, friendly. You've really come into your own as a fine young man. And Trace, you showed great resolve, never losing heart as you saw your journey through to the end. I did see, though, in the way you do battle, that kind heart of yours might still be causing you to hold yourself back when it comes to your Pokémon interfacing friendly. It's hardly much of a weakness, but it may have cost you the battle this time. Regardless, the two of you showed us an extraordinary battle. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. Friendly, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing, don't you? It was the marvelous bond you share with your Pokémon that brought you here. 
Now, friendly, come with me. <laughs> Ahem. Congratulations, friendly. This is where we record forever the Pokémon who have performed so admirably for their trainers here at the Pokémon League. This is the Hall of Fame. Being honored here is one of the greatest joys a Pokémon trainer may achieve. Friendly, you've battled hard to become a Pokémon League champion. Let us record this achievement of you and your Pokémon for all to remember. We finally did it. Our journey has come to an end as we are the champions with Eevee at level 50, Golem at level 53, Venusaur at level 50, Snorlax at level 51, Charizard at level 51, and Gyarados at level 49. Together, we are the Pokemon Champions. Whew. Man, that was quite the little adventure we had here. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is not your conventional Pokemon game. It has different mechanics for catching Pokemon. It doesn't even have well Pokemon fights outside a Snorlax battle and maybe even some others in the post-game. But that doesn't mean it's not a fun game, it's just a little different. It was originally meant to draw in players from Pokemon Go to start enjoying the mainline Pokemon games as well. And in those terms, I think it did what it set out to do fairly well. It is a neat little experience that is just a little bit different and just familiar enough to Pokemon Go to really get you into this entire franchise. It is lovely. The Eevee is just adorable. There's so many good animations. It's just... It, it's, it's a wholesome game. It's definitely something you can enjoy together with someone. As there is that two-player mode that we did in the beginning. Uh, I think it was a Lieutenant Search that we did that. But at the same time, if you're a mainline Pokemon enjoyer, then this game might just be a little too easy for you. As you saw, we were like six to eight levels under leveled for that final battle. Trace's Pokemon were definitely higher level. If I had grinded anything before that battle, I would have had an even easier time. Uh, sure, I did use some items here and there, but not, not much more than I would use in a regular Elite Four battle in any of the other games. So I feel like we did pretty dang well in this game. I wanted to challenge myself by keeping my levels a little lower and, well, we did it. We finally became the champions. And we get to see all these cute pictures just rush on by. I really do like this game. It's, it's enjoyable and I hope you guys enjoyed along the way. It was, you know, the first quote-unquote generation. Even though this had like Gen 7 Pokemon in it and, and, and it's such with the lowland forms. But yeah, I, I would do it all again. Maybe not record it, but you know. There is post-game to this game. There are legendary Pokemon to catch. You can unlock flying now, so you can fly on the back of your Pokemon. And there is this one mechanic where there are master trainers. Where you fight against a singular Pokemon. So there could be a Pidgey master, and you have to use your Pidgey to defeat their Pidgey, and if you defeat the Pidgey Master, you get the title of Pidgey Master. And that is something we could do, but I haven't even done that on my own. It's just, it doesn't really appeal to me all that much. There's also some other special trainers you can fight. But if you're interested in those battles, I suggest picking the game up, having a lot of fun with it, and exploring to your own heart's content. We skipped over some things, and I usually do that on purpose, so I don't have to 100% the game, and just to leave something for you to explore if you really enjoyed the game. And I know I did. I, I had a ton of fun. 
This episode is lowering a little longer, though. I, I had said, oh, 20 minutes from now on to retain interest. But now, you know, just the finale. We can do that. And it's coming to an end anyway. We return back to Palatown. Evie's just playing with the flowers. Oh, it's so cute. I kind of wish they would make one for Johto, but it hasn't shown up yet. The end. <laughs> Man, Evie is just too adorable. All right. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for a new Let's Play. But until then, bye-bye!